there are a few bushy areas and they kind of look like that. They're just uh, like a batch of tree, a cluster of trees, kind of in the middle of the field. Um, and sometimes it's just nice to walk inside them. It makes us feel like for a moment we, sorry, I'm just making sure they're not eating weird stuff because um, sometimes they do. Good boy. Um, it makes us momentarily feel like we're in the forest. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean when we go inside one of these. There's usually a trail or a few little trails that, um, oh, Maggie's going. Maggie's a going. Okay, so we're just on the other side because we had to throw away Maggie's present. But, um, yeah, so we'll go inside one of these little trails and you'll see what I mean by it feels like we're walking in a forest. <laughs> uh, Teddy, over here! Good boy, come on! Over here, buddy, yeah! Look at that instant forest. Yeah, makes us feel like, oh my goodness, we're just surrounded by greenery. Right? I mean, it's short, it's sweet, but it does for a moment. Good boy, good boy. Charcoal, Maggie. Well, they probably can't find us because we're in the forest. <laughs> Charcoal, Charcoal. He was just right behind me, interesting. Oh, the goofball is right at the end. Charcoal! He's just ignoring me. Nice. Very nice. He's practicing his selective hearing skills. All right. Well, uh, Charcoal! Okay. I'm pretty sure Charcoal hears me. I've been calling for him. Um, but he's just like on the border there. I don't know if he, it's because he doesn't know how to get in or if he's just like, you know. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you can see him. Charcoal! I don't think you can see him. Uh, but he is right there. Hi, Charcoal! Yeah, he's just like playing Mr. Aloof. He's like, no, I'm not going where you're going. I go my own ways because I'm a husky. Um, Charcoal, come! Charcoal! Yeah, he just walked like right past where the path is. Hmm, interesting. Oh. Yeah, Charcoal has, I don't know what he has. He has selective, selective listening. Maggie, oh, oh. sit. Good girl. Oh, we've got a mosquito. All right. Oh, good boy. Yeah. You want, you want a treat? Would you like a treat? Good boy. Okay, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go through our mini forest. Good boy, Charcoal. Yeah, good boy, buddy. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Maggie, no puddle, no puddle. Okay, let's uh, exit this way, guys, because there's a puddle there. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good girl. Good boy. I think, yeah, there's there's a forest over here as well. We'll see if we can go to this one. Ah, 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 ah. Teddy, no, no, um, no puddle. Good boy. Good girl, Maggie. Okay, guys, let's go in here. Come on. Good boy, Charcoal. Good boy. Come on, Maggie. Yeah, let's go in this little forest. Look at that. Instant forest. Right? Like you gotta admit, it almost feels like we're in a forest. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, let's go, guys. Oh, look, there's even little, um, a little obstacle course. I don't know if they can get through here. Can you? Maybe not. 
Uh, Maggie's like, yep, no problem here. Come on, guys. Oh, and no problem for uh, charcoal. Oh, Teddy's going through as well. I'm just going to try and step on top of these and hope I don't lose my balance. Good boy. Oh, and we have a visitor. Come on, Jasper. Hello, buddy. Have you come to join us? He's like, no, this, this course is too difficult. Good girl. Yeah, I guess this one's a bit of an obstacle course. There's just uh, trees and branches that have fallen over. So they have to go either under it or over it. Uh, so we might just exit midway. I don't want to make it too difficult for them. Good job, guys. I think there's an exit coming up here. Teddy, you're okay, bud? Yeah? And I know Jasper can make it. He's been through this course a few times. Come on, Teddy. Good boy, buddy. Yep, the rest of them made it through. I think the human is the one that's probably got the most trouble with it. Ha ha ha. Okay, guys, we're going to exit this way. Milo. Milo's gone the other way. Milo Charcoal, I see you. Charcoal over here. Okay. Yeah, when I'm not a fully enclosed park, I'm honestly not too, too worried. Of course, having said that, there was a lady, uh, crazy enough, she let one of my dogs out. And of course, you know, when these things happen, it's never the dog that knows me well. <laughs> it's the brand spanking, practically new dog that just got dropped off the night before. So it's trying to escape in the first place. So um, yeah, she let the dog out and the dog just bolted. It was crazy. And I had, I had a really hard time tracking him down, which I didn't um, because he just ran. Like when a dog bolts, they have one thing in mind and that is just to keep running. Um, but I know like charcoal, he won't, he, he knows me enough and you know, he's just not the bolting type. Um, so I'm not too worried. Um, he is around and I know if I call him and he hears me, he'll come, but I believe he's just around the corner here. Yeah. That dog. So that dog did get found. Um, so I chased it for, gosh, uh, so 113. Is it Aver Street, 113th Street, I believe? 113, uh, I don't know. Anyways, it ran from 113A and 127 to 90F and I believe 135 or 90th Street and 135. I, it was a crazy amount. And um, when I finally got a whole... Charcoal! I just saw charcoal go past. So we're going around in circles. He's gone the other way and we're going, we're like right behind him. It's a little bit of funny. But we, we won't lose each other. Um, charcoal! Over here, charcoal! I'm glad Maggie is avoiding... Uh, I guess because it's not hot. She is avoiding mud puddles because she is a mud puddle magnet. Okay, so we're going to turn the corner here and hopefully, uh, oh, okay. I, I think that's charcoal. No, that's not charcoal, is it? I thought he went this way. He could have, oh, there he is. That is him. Charcoal! Yeah, see, he sees us, he hears me and he comes. Charcoal, good boy. Charcoal. Okay, and he's just visiting maybe. Good boy, Charcoal. Yeah, it's coming from over here, bud. It's me. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, Charcoal. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, it's fully enclosed. So, you know, like I, I do give him a bit of rain and I'm not like I said, too, too worried. And for the most part, they follow me. Um, but with dogs like Charcoal, who has that genetic 
um, uh, preference or what is that called? Like, like the, uh, like, like his genetics tells him be independent, go kind of, you know, where you sort of feel like, um, uh, yeah, he, you know, he'll, he'll have a tendency to somewhat wander. Like he's not going to stick close, close, close to me. Like most dogs would like these guys. Yeah. They all know to follow me, but he is definitely a lot more independent, but of course he, his intention is not to lose the pack. <laughs> it's, it's a fine balance for him to find, um, between staying close enough to the pack and honoring his own um, sense of independence and exploration, I guess. Yeah. Good boy, Charcoal. Yeah, like as you can say, like, see, he, he likes his distance, right? So, and some dogs are just like that, you know? Charcoal, this way, over here. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh, and see, he's turned. Like, yeah, so it's not like his intention to, to like, go the opposite way of me. Good girl, Maggie. And Maggie left her ball. There's um, Milo. Maggie left her ball um, at where our water station was. So it's kind of good, I guess. She then is exploring. Good girl, Maggie. And not so hyper-focused on the ball. Yeah, so Teddy has picked up on, you know, follow the pack, follow the leader, stay close. He's pretty good. And we're still with Teddy. We're still working on, um, you know, being okay uh, with strange big dogs. Um, so he's still good boy, Milo. He is still um, working on that, which honestly, I don't blame him. Like, he's been tripped a few times by big dogs because, you know, they, they're just not as mindful. Um, and I have to admit, like, sometimes I don't notice him um, when he's at my feet, so. Yeah, so being that tiny, he just has to be, like, a bit more, a bit more vigilant uh, and make sure that he screens the dogs carefully before knowing that they're okay and that they, they aren't going to harm him. Good boy, bad.